while we're in that relaxed state, one of the exercises we're going to do today is we're going to work with the vowels. In English, the A is for apple, the E is for elephant, the I is for indigo, the O is for Ontario, and the U is for umbrella. We're also going to go with consonants. So we're going to form two-letter words. And the two-letter words we're going to use, there will be five of them. If we go with the, the vowels, A, the first word is as. A-S, and I'm holding that up in your screen so that your mind sight becomes familiar with that. The next word has the vowel E, and it's going to be the word we. The third word is the third vowel I for indigo or India, and it's the word it. The next one is O, and the word is O-N, on. And U for umbrella. Two-letter word we've got is um. I'm going to take one of those words. So I have two letters in your screen. This is a challenge. Our mind sight does like challenges. If you happen to see Claudia's video, the harder I made it for her yesterday, the easier it was for her. I see it, yeah. So it's like the mind sight is trying to show us that it can do a lot. With these two letters, Rob, look for a vowel, and once you see a vowel, you will know what word it is. Ah, yeah. But your mind sight may also see the other letter, or it may only see the other letter. But even if it sees the other letter, you will still know what the word is, because now and again, I will tell you the five words. So totally let go, totally be in the moment, Totally let go of everything that's in your mind that you were doing today, that you're going to do tonight. Just totally let go. And they say, go empty. If you can go empty, then you will see part or all of one or both of the letters. Just describe what you're seeing when you get something in your mind sight. Your mind sight feels a little different. The mind sight gives it to you, whereas your imagination is something that you are in control of. I've just seen a V, and I, uh, I say we. Okay, that's absolutely correct. Very good, Rob. Very good. It is the word we, W-E. I'm taking a dice. It's one of those foam dice, and it has a color on it. It has a number on it by way of dot or dots. Keep your head always moving where possible. It seems to be very beneficial in this mind sight ability. No concentrating, just letting go and reporting. It's as if you're very relaxed, you're falling asleep, but you happen to go to your window, and you look out, and you see a dice and you see it has both a color and a number, and you simply report it to me, and then you go lie down and go to sleep. Let go and just be a passive observer. Red. Yes, it's red, very good, Rob. On the face of this dice that's in your screen, there is a pattern of a dot or dots. All you have to do is let that pattern appear in your mind sight, and then you just tell me the pattern, or even count the dot or dots that you see. I'm even going to show you on the face right here. It's this face, this is the dice, here are the dot or dots, here, black dot or dots against red. Four. Yes, it is. It is exactly four. Very good, Rob. I'm going to pick one of the words. So it has a vowel, A-E-I-O-U. I'm putting in your screen, and next to the vowel is a consonant. So we have the words as, we, it, on, or um. And it's one of those five words, Rob. Allow yourself to totally let go. The more you can be a passive observer and just be somebody that reports what you see, but doesn't control what he sees, he's just reporting, 
the more your mind sight will give it to you in your visual screen. There's a two letter word in your screen. See if you can see one letter or the other, but no concentration. Just be patiently allowing it to appear with no anticipation, with no expectation. Um. So spell the letters out. U, M. And that is absolutely correct. Very good, Rob. Tell me how you saw that. Again, I saw a V uh, uh, at the top of the M uh, as I as I see it. I see the middle part of the M is a V. Yes. And that's what you saw. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Well, you got that 100% correct. Very good. Give yourself a pat on the back, Rob. There <laughs> <Okay>. you go. <laughs> Again, this is very challenging. I'm going to grab one of the two-letter combinations. Now I'm putting it in your screen. So there's two letters side by side. There's the one I'm showing you with my finger. There's the other. I'm tracing them out. Totally let go. Mind sight starts out as a very weak thing. And I compare it to if you went to an <clears throat> outdoor concert with a friend and there is a performance that you mm -hmm. want to go listen to and you are with a friend. The concert is playing very loud and you need to say something to your friend. You're whispering in his ear, but he does not hear you. Because the concert is so loud, he doesn't hear you. Even you speak louder into his ear, and he still doesn't hear you. As soon as the music stops, he says to you, Robert, stop shouting in my ear. He hears <laughs> everything. That is the parallel with mind sight. The mind sight is always there whispering in our ear. It's always giving it to us in a visual way, except Everything else is so strong, we don't see it, but it's still there. So all we try to do, Rob, is turn down the strength of everything else that's interfering, and then we will see. So let's turn down everything else in the left brain, let go. Just imagine you're going up to the control panel and turning all the dials right down to zero or close to zero. Now you can see in your visual field the two letters. It's it. Yes, it is. Very good, Rob. Excellent. Give yourself a pat on the other shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay. This is a different game. I have a cup in your screen. Inside the cup, I have a dice. I'm pulling the dice out putting the dice back in. So there is a color of the cup and there's a color of the dice. There's two colors here. Color of the cup may appear stronger because it's bigger. Allow your mind sight to give you the two colors, color of the cup and the color of the dice. There's the cup and there's the dice. Yellow? Yes. Yellow is one of the colors. Is yellow the cup or is yellow the dice? The cup. Yes, it is. That's exactly right. Very good, Rob. Now, out of that yellow cup, there is a dice that keeps popping up. Visualize the yellow cup and see what comes out of that yellow cup in your mind sight. Not your imagination. It's what your mind sight actually gives you just like it gave you the yellow. That one right there. Blue. Yes, it is. It's blue. Very good. It is blue. Excellent. Now we're going to go to the words again. Bear in mind, could be a repeat, could be a different one. So I'm going to grab one of the combinations. I'm putting it up in your screen. You may see part or all of one letter, part or all of the second letter, you may see both letters together. So continually be moving your head. 
Iris noticed with her children, they're always moving their head back and forth, and that seems to help tremendously because we don't know exactly where your mind sight is coming from. Could be coming from the left temple, right temple, forehead, or under your chin. We. Oui. So, yes, it's we. Oui. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good, Rob. That's excellent. Do you have your folder handy? Yes, yes. And at random, just take something out, Rob. I have the th uh, three three cards. I can't uh, play anymore with a red one because I recognize it when I touch it. I have noted that the cardboard is on the same. Ah, okay. Keep the three cards, and I'm going to um, ask you to shuffle them up so that you don't know which card is which. And then I want you to find a yellow card. Even take two cards in your hand and let's compare them. Take two cards, hold them up. Which one to you looks more yellow? Let's just stay with those two cards. Which one looks more yellow? This one. That's absolutely correct. Well done, Rob. Our mind well, sight loves to play games. It loves to have fun. So I have taped one of those five words to a colored card, Rob. Okay. So what you will see in your screen is the color around the outside like a picture frame because the two white cards are filling quite a lot of the card. They're next to each other, and those two white cards have the black letters on them. Look for the background color. It's either green, red, blue, or yellow. Be in the state where you just feel like you're going to fall asleep, where you're passing into that in-between state. And that's where mind sight really lights up. Red. Yes, it is red. Continue to see that red and look through that red that you are seeing and notice if there is a letter or letters. I have to tell you, when you saw the red, your mind sight was operating. Mm. You were in the correct state for your mind sight to operate. So just visualize you're in that same state where you let go, where you're falling asleep, and just look through that red that you already saw, and there's two letters. I see an S. That's correct. Uh, Oz. That's absolutely correct. Well done, Rob. Not so bad. <laughs> Excellent. There's one of four colors. You got it correct. There's one of five words, and you got it correct. You saw the S. Did you mm. see any part of the A at all? See, yes. Yes, I did. Did yes, you see did. both letters? Not yeah. together. First, I saw the A, and, and I couldn't see it uh, afterwards. I could see uh, the, the the zigzag of the S, and I know it was the S. Yes, so excellent. You got both letters, and yes. many people do not see that at the start. So that tells me you're moving forward, Rob. This is excellent.